I'm just bloody lucky that. Cows going through the, um, they're going through the uh, avenue of trees, that. I could have bumped straight into them. They're actually going in to be milked. Very lucky. Oh, some bloody gorgeous skies. I've taken some great photos of the skies. But it's very windy, it's hard to video. Pan. Pond for the being repaired. And over there we've got Glastonbury, got some people sat on a hill. And Glastonbury in the distance. <laughs> Evidence of settlement there. the other way, you know, if I'd gone up the, through the avenue of trees earlier, I wouldn't have bumped into them straight away, because I would have been up through there ages ago, but they would have been coming down, the encounter would have been much more likely, but now they've gone in, they go in to be milked, uh, they follow that track, so you know, I've got a good, well I'll be at the gate over there way before there, but they do move fast. I remember after they were milked once before, and they let them out, they moved across here bloody fast, I'll tell you. Anyway, this is Draycott Slights. Whenever you see all these stones here, this is Draycott Slights, everyone. I might not talk too much because it's so windy you won't hear what I'm saying. But the windiness on the video is quite appropriate, really. there which I do but those cows went I just I chose the higher route today but like I said last time I came I think I came later and the cows were coming out and I managed to get across but I'd only just got to the gate and they were right up by the gate I'm not saying they were after me but right I'm gonna turn off take some pictures of the slights Slights, everyone. Over and out. Just a small video. It's really blowy up here on the slights. I've taken a lovely, lovely picture of Glastonbury. Took a lovely picture. Came out really well of Glastonbury over there. Look. The watchtower all along the watchtower. I'm going to try and video but I'm just going to let you hear the wind. But you, I don't want you to miss the scenery, you see. I had to do today. I knew it was going to be windy. I knew. But it wasn't going to be rainy. Other days you've got more rain. Right across there, look. To a stile. And then I'm hoping to do a nature reserve, but it depends if there's cows over there. 
Depends if there's going to be cows. Right, over and out a minute. Right, just spoke to a nice lady. I think the video's going to go off. The battery's going to be nearly gone in a minute. But I've got one in my pocket ready. But uh, there's a little tree up here. He's just po poking his head out there. He's a lone tree. I always say hello to him when I go by. And, uh, yeah, it's a lovely walk. I love this walk. I call this a real English walk, this one. Now, I, but they're all very much like that, really. Um, but the, I don't, there's just something about walking across this field like this and that tree being there. There's something very, not spiritual, but I can't explain it really. I have, when I'm in places like this, I have thoughts of people I knew when I was a child. Oh God, they've been led out of here, look. They've been led out of here. Yeah, I've, um, I don't know. Reminds me of childhood a lot in this particular, it doesn't do it everywhere I go, but this particular walk does. I just wondered if deep in my childhood, if someone like my older sister Barbara and John ever walked me this way. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to Draycott's Lights now. The Rocky Outcrops. Up. They haven't got a trig point, but they are quite high up and they overlook the Vale of Avalon. The cows have been in here, so they've only just come out. Uh, the woman said she seems to think they mo get moved around a bit, but I, th I think it's due to being milked. A hint of autumn on the tree now. A little bit of autumn on the tree. Just slightly now, changing colour look. I love that little tree. That tree also reminds me of Northumberland. There's a very famous image of a tree. I think I've taken my own picture of it as well, up on the Hadrian's Wall. And it's a tree that is in like the bosom of the, the wall, if you like, when it goes down and up like a U shape. That was, that's a solo tree and they've got that some people have taken pictures of that at night with the stars behind and uh hello hello it's raven i hear you yeah yeah he's doing his echo call but look at that sky this winter day is creating all these patterns i've been lucky to have found this window i'm glad i came out just like I said, tomorrow's a mixture of wind and rain. Not as windy, but more rain. Possibly. Even this, we could have a sprinkling. But that could be four or five o'clock. By then I should be um, back at the bus. But basically, I don't know what the time is. I, my, my mobile phone died three days ago. And... Uh, I have, I'm, I'll probably get another one, but at the moment I'm using a radio with, it's got the time on it, a digital radio thing, a little thing that you listen to in your ear. That's got the time on it, so I don't miss the bus, but I need, do need to get one. I don't want one really, but it is handy if I hurt myself or someone's trying to get hold of me or, you know. Anyway, look at that lovely tree. So you can guess what's going to happen now, can't you? I'm going to switch off and take a picture. Right, one small video. Lovely solo tree. Lovely Draycott slights. I love walking here. I really do. It just reminds me of all sorts of things. Childhood, people I knew. It's so Englishy as well. I, I just love this walk because Draycott's like, I love it. And in a minute I'm going up this drove. But I was just pointing out, there's the gate. I've never seen the cows up this high. Now they've either been brought through this gate from another field, because uh, one woman said they do move them around. Um, <sighs> <sighs> or 
or they were up here. I don't know how many. It's not a lot of cow pack here. But anyway, I just love this. I just love this. And it's been a year. It's been a good year since I've been up here. Because um, COVID and all that, and then you couldn't go on the buses. That was the other thing. They stopped us on the buses for three or four months. And I had other walks I needed to fit in. But it's coming on to a year now. Last time I walked, but I walked through the avenue last time. Today, good job I didn't want it. The cows would have passed me. They might be harmless. Fresh, and that is very, very, very fresh. I hadn't even had time to dry out. So whether they brought them through here, who knows? It's not really a... They, I suppose they could let them in this way. I mean... I've now got to go and see if... Do a cow risk assessment. Either way I go here, I could meet cows. Now I do like going down through that way, but the risk there is usually higher. But, uh, we've got time to go up this lovely track, which I also love so much. This whole view, to me, is absolutely gorgeous. This whole view, and down through there. So, you can guess what I've got to do before I, I carry on with the video. It's going to be another short one. Join together, folks, for you. And I need to check the time. Over and out.